Hello and welcome to the OASP Cypol. In this video, I'm going to show you the solution for the Laravel exercise from the N1 CTF 2023. If we open the link, we can see that the challenge author is providing us with a Docker file. And we can use this Docker file to run the challenge locally. In this Docker file, we can see that Laravel 8.4.2 is being used and the ignition 2.5.1. These versions are vulnerable to remote code execution. I will link this blog post below. This is possible due to a vulnerability in the ignition module on the underscore ignition slash execute solution endpoint. There are public exploits for this CVE, but these exploits are using FAR. And as you can see on the challenge description, it says no FAR. You will not be able to test this restriction on the local machine, but on the remote, they have implemented this restriction of the FAR protocol. If we take a closer look to the exploits, they also take advantage of the PHP protocol to perform filters. And because the vulnerable code on the ignition module is using the file put contents function, we will be able to do a PHP filter chain to add PHP code to a file and then run it. In this case, we have a hint saying that only the public index.php file can be modified. So this will be our target. I've already used the PHP filter chain technique in the past. If you want to see another video of me using it to solve a challenge, please click on the link above. Let's run the challenge locally, perform a couple of tests. I've just added a port to the provider Docker file. That was the only change I made to it. To build the image, we will run docker build. And to run a container with that image, we will use docker run. Now, if we access our localhost in port 9000, we will have this application running. To generate our payload, we will use this project again, the PHP filter chain generator. Let's create a chain to run ls on our local machine. I'll copy paste everything that's left to resource. We are going to send this to that vulnerable endpoint. In this case, the file we are going to change in the container running on our machine is at laravel public index.php. This can be seen if you enter the container. Once we send this, we get a 500 internal server error saying that the icon stream filter has an invalid multibyte sequence. This actually breaks our application because it modifies the file. And now we have an empty file. Even if you check the file system on the container, in order for this not to happen, what we will do is to base64 encode what was on the file in the beginning so we don't get this error. So now we can delete the container and we can run it again. And now we have restored our local environment. Let's try our payload again, but with an extra conversion of base64. I'll copy paste this one right here. I will put it in the beginning. So any weird character that will get to the icon will disappear. If we send it again, now we get the 200 OK. And if we refresh, we will see the result of our ls command on our local container. I've done the same on the remote, and that's why I know the flag is at slash flag. Now we are able to run any command on the application by just using the PHP protocol and not using the FAR protocol. So now let's do the same on the remote instance. We just need to change the host here and then the target.
and now instead of a ls we are going to cut the flag let's copy our filter again and paste it here and now instead of laravel public index.php we actually have var www html public index.php and the reason we are doing this is because the application tells us the web path here so now if we send this to the server we just break it because we forgot to add the base64 encoding As you can see, it turns blank. I will just stop this instance and I will create a new one. In the meantime, let's add our base64 encoding first thing so we don't get any errors. Now we have a new instance. Let's send the payload for this one. We just have to change the host and the target now if we hit send we will get the 200 ok and if we refresh the index page we get the flag don't forget you have a link to this write-up and all of the resources down below i hope you like this solution please leave a like and subscribe and see you on the next one